Well, Canaanites, it's that time of the month again. Halo Escalation time. If I don't sound too thrilled, well, you'll soon see why. This is Halo Escalation, issue 23. We open with Halsey heading into the Absolute Record and encountering the Librarian AI from Requiem. So, if the Librarian is present, why did she allow for the test in the first place? Why didn't she intervene when Halsey showed up with Jewel and another team of humans followed? Sorry, sorry, th th there I go trying to make sense of things again. For forgive me. The issue then jumps over to Palmer, Tanaka, and Glassman as they're fighting off Jules' forces. As they try to fall back after getting hit by a lich, the group is cornered by a pair of zealots. Thankfully, both are killed by a sentinel. However, this is no ordinary sentinel and asks that the Spartans and Glassman accompany it. Meanwhile, Aida's freed Salinion, reinvigorated him, and is preparing to help take Jules' vault of Forerunner treasures. I can't imagine why Jewel would leave such a vault on Breath of Annihilation rather than in his flagship Song of Retribution, but who am I to question the Dynax hand? Sully's small force, along with Ait, begin their attack. Meanwhile in the swamp, Thorn is still bleeding out and still being pursued by a single jackal. Now, I've pretty much said my piece on this whole situation last issue, but I neglected to bring up some other vital questions. 1. Why the hell hasn't the Needler round exploded or broken yet? It's a common and distinct trait of Blamite. 2. Where the hell are the automated biofoam injectors? This was one of the major upgrades of the Mark VI platform, and as far as we know, it carried over to the Gen 2 platform. If it didn't, well, I can't imagine why it wouldn't have been. It was a great idea. Anyway, Thorn takes on the remaining Jackal, only managing to kill it just before it reaches him. Unfortunately, Thorn stepped in an area with some particularly soft ground, and with the added weight of the Jackal, he begins to sink. Meanwhile, at the absolute record, the librarian gives Halsey a quick overview of the possibilities that lay before her. Nothing all that mind-blowing, sadly. Back with Palmer, Tanaka, and Glassman, we get to the real disappointment of this issue. That sentinel that saved them? That's a fragment of the Custodian AI. So basically, Halsey did hack a contender class Ancilla. God fucking damn it. Well, no wonder the Forerunners lost to the Flood. They couldn't make a decent AI to save their lives. Literally. First, Menekin Bias falls to the Flood, now the Custodian can be hacked by one human. Granted, the smartest human in the galaxy, but that doesn't excuse what happened. Well, anyway, the gist of the situation is that in the event of a system failure, a small part of the custodian would be transferred into this sentinel, and while he would eventually have full control of the absolute record, given enough time, he's hoping that the humans will help expedite the process. Back on Breath of Annihilation, Ayit receives a transmission from Thorn, who just pulled himself out of the swamp. Thorn says he needs to get out of the swamp due to his injury, but Ayit notes that if the two meet up, or if Thorn returns, they could both end up dead. Thorn ignores Ayit, grabs a banshee, and begins to head back towards Breath. And back on the absolute record, Jewel is getting impatient with Halsey, seeming to finally catch on that Halsey has her own goals and motivations. He orders his zealots to detain her and remind her that her life belongs to them when she emerges. Inside the chamber, it seems Halsey had a way of listening in on what Jewel said and activates some sentinels to eliminate him and his forces, terminating their relationship. Of course, since we know how Halo 5 opens, it's kind of anticlimactic. And that's Escalation Issue 23. Not a whole lot going on, no hints at how this might connect to Halo 5, and really, this just feels like a big filler issue. Never mind the persistent issues with Thorn bleeding out. Seriously, biofoam injectors! They've been standard in Mjolnir since 2552, six years ago in universe! And don't even get me started on Halsey hacking a contender again. For fuck's sake. Well, we have one more issue to go. Until then, this has been Halo Cannon. Hope you're all enjoying Halo 5. I know I am. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.